Hi, I'm James Huckers, and the name of the experiment I will be conducting is Can Crickets Tell the Temperature More Accurately Than Mobile Phones? The only equipment I will be needing to use is a stopwatch on my mobile phone to measure the amount of trips a cricket can make in 15 seconds. The controlled variable and independent variable are similar in a way, as with the controlled variable, the thing I will be keeping the same, I will need to conduct my experiment at the same two times for, the, for two days, 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. And, and the independent variable, the thing I will be changing, is that I am changing the time that I am conducting my experiment during the day, as this will give me a more accurate and solid answer. My main dependent variable, what I am measuring, is to see how many times a cricket will, will, will chirp in 15 seconds. The way I will conduct my experiment is this. At 8 o'clock, I will stand outside. I, I am standing my conduction as, at this time as this is one of the most certain times in the day when you will hear a cricket chirp. I will then start my stopwatch and count how many times a cricket will chirp until I stop the stopwatch at precisely 15 seconds. I will then take this number and add 37 to it. This is the temperature in Fahrenheit. To then change this temperature to degrees Celsius, I must, I sub I must subtract 32 from the number I have and divide it by 1.8. This puzzle of equations should then give me the current temperature in degrees Celsius. I will then check my mobile phone to view the temperature out out there, of there. The safety issues and risks that may occur during my experiment are all mainly weather issues. For example, if a lightning storm, storm strong winds or a hailstorm occurs, I must get under the nearest shelter to me. This would be the front po covered porch which I'm standing under. I will then, I will then repeat this experiment at 9 o'clock. This experiment will be quite intriguing, as there could be an unexpected result at the end of the experiment. Thank you.